Okay, I love that. <laughs> I got good news and bad news. The good news is it seems that Billy's imaginary friend, Runty, survived the Fuse's lair debacle. The bad news is that Fuse's army doesn't appear to be behaving any differently than it did before you defeated Lord Fuse. Absolutely. The whole thing is very disturbing. I wonder if the two phenomena are possibly related. Could you please go to Ensville and check up on Billy and Runty? Oh, okay. So, will this... Um... The secondary nano mission actually give us some answers for why nothing has really changed. <coughs> okay. So we're going to go to uh, Mojo Jojo. What does he have to say? So the pitiful idea to sacrifice Billy's pet in order to slow down Fuse's army was a clear waste of time. As Fuse's army has not faltered in the slightest even after the defeat of their leader, my monkey minions Tayson and Enzo have reported seeing uh, Runty, I despise that name, exactly where it used to be. I would advise you, you I would advise you investigate the creature and make sure ooh, it stays dead this time. What happened to the no death policy, huh? Um, okay, and then let's go change to, or does that only apply to Cartoon Network characters? I'm going to go to, right here. Okay. Curiouser and curiouser. Is that an actual word? Not only has that imaginary spawn that tags alongside that idiot. So, Runty is an imaginary fusion spawn that tags alongside that idiot. Billy persisted through its sacrifice, may to help you take down Lord Fuse. But Fuse's forces have not shown any signs of slowing down either. Did any of what we did any of what we accomplished in Fuse's lair even ultimately affect anything? The answer is no. Um something tells me there's more to this than any of us realize at the moment. I suppose the best course of action would be to investigate Runty itself, head over to Ensville, avoid Billy if you can help it, and get a closer look at the foul creature. So I'm guessing Runty, or possibly Billy, is going to be the one that's going to give you the mission. Pro most likely Billy. And we got ourselves uh, Ben Tennyson. Okay. Hey, what's up? Is everything going well? I'm... Oh, no, that's that's not it. Come on. So, you follow... So, you know that freaking spawn that follows Billy around? Yeah. Follows present tense. I was pretty sure it sacrificed itself to help you defeat Lord Fuse, but it turns out he's still around after that whole thing in Fuse's lair. Gwen told me he heard Billy mention something about a Fuse and Runty. Oh, that's... Is it... I'm, is it going to be like a massive... Fusion spawn is going to be Fusion Billy with the Fusion spawn. I really don't get it. And will the lair include a whole bunch of Fusion spawns too? Since when did since when do those two talk? Oh, and I don't get the Fusion Runty thing either. Between Runty still alive and kicking and Fusion's army seemingly not slowing down their invasion efforts without their leader, I've got a hunch that something is up. Go to Ensville and see what's up with Runty for yourself, okay? All right, there. Right. so okay, we're done reading that. And according to uh, Jordan Mystical, I have to go get myself, um, oh, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta, mm. Okay. Yeah, I desperately need that. Oh, okay, that's nice. <sighs> okay. Few some more. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that doesn't look like Runty, but it's it's a good enough design. Um, design, first impression, it's a 3 out of 5. It definitely could look a lot better, but it's not bad. 3 out of 5, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. Bet you're wondering how Runty is still here after his heroic sacrifice in the depths of Fuse's lair. Huh, 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 huh. Huh. Well, I'll tell you. But first, there's some unfinished business. One last job. One final score that I need you, or you, 
to complete. You see, now that Lord Fuse is going to live on a farm in the sky with my great aunt Sally, a power vacuum has opened up in his empire that has already been filled by someone even big, bigger and baddier. Really? Is this some sort of expansion hint? Okay, I want to take a photo of this. Okay. A power vacuum has opened up in his empire that has already been filled by someone even bigger and baddier. Okay. So in terms of powers, uh, the best one uh, by far would have to be Heroic Sacrifice, Drain Point. This is something you're actually going to use while grinding. Um, uh, snare Target Area, the usefulness for that is like a 1 out of 5. Drain Point is a 4 out of 5. It's a useful grinding power. Uh, sneak, uh, you don't really need that. In fact, there's this little technique where if you got to do a mission inside of an infected zone, just start the race and you actually activate a free uh, sneak uh, ability. So the best choice is a heroic <coughs> a sacrifice. But return to Fuse's Lair on behalf of Billy and Runty. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, return to Fuse's Lair. And it's a good thing that I have friends there. And apparently I have to go bring in a rocket. So, um, I mean, I could have, this would be a great opportunity to use Punk Rocket, but I, I this character is not used to racing. So there's, there's kind of like no point. So we might as well just use um dexter okay re return of fuses lair yeah I'm, I'm gonna go there yeah i got my rocket nano <coughs> okay will this be the best lair ever so um return of fuses lair okay and you gotta go, oh okay fuses back door can i keep the mission no that's not needed huh wow okay this better be the best lair possible because this is in the post game okay make sure to not kill any of the fusions okay oh it's it's a copy paste of Fuse's Labyrinth. That's that's very disappointing. But we totally defeated Lord Fuse already. Some of these guys have given up without their ruler. Okay. Yeah, that definitely does make a lot of sense. Glarus warming with Fusions and. Okay, can't. And an unevolved spawn, they must somehow be regenerating without the presence of Lord Fuse. Curious. Now, this is. This is disappointing. <laughs> but, um, it's, uh, it's alright. It's, it's just the same thing. So you gotta kill. Oh, yo! Fusion Amphibian, Fusion Courage, and Fusion Coop. Okay. Oh, yo, check this out. So, like, depending on the guide you have, the message is going to be different. So, this revelation that fuses layers filled with fusion spawns makes absolutely zero sense. The sense it makes is less than one on a scale from one to ten. Lord Fuse was the leader of the Fusions, as I am the leader of my monkey minion army. And without my leadership, my army would fall for i am a great leader who my army relies on if i were to to be defeated which i would not be they would they would most certainly surrender i mean they are strong and fearless and would continue without me so do not attempt to foil any future world conquering attempts that i will attempt in the future by taking me out to make my army give up for it will not work to the point, I am very confused as to why Fuse's army still functions. So, um, I first thought that, oh, that I had Mojo Jojo as my guide, but apparently that's just what uh, Mojo Jojo is saying. Okay, so he's definitely in for a surprise. Yeah, it does make uh, a lot of 
uh, scents, and it's interesting that there's a whole bunch of fusion spawns here. Why is that? Very, very curious. So it's fusing the Mongo there. This is a legitimate copy paste. Brian, wait. Oh, okay. What level are they? So, got Amphibian, Fusing Courage, and Fusing Coop. I'll be using the Fuse Breaker. Oh, yeah, well, I'll just use this. We turn invisible and use eruption all the time. Really? So they're 36. 30, all three of them are 36. You can take them. Oh! Oh, if you attack one of them, they're going to. Uh, so it's kind of recommended to be in a group for this, but I, I, I think it's still possible. So their eruption attacks are invisible. Okay. What? I don't. Wait. Oh! Wait. Whoa! whoa check that out! What's what's going on? Okay. Oh, yo. Oh, they turn invisible. What? Why are they turning invisible? Okay. Okay. Oh, yo, Joe, check that out. You gotta put that on. Oh, yo, he disappeared again. He's not dead yet. Is this is this a glitch? Oh, yo, there he is. So he takes a while. Okay, there we go. Why are you, why are you uh, not taking any damage? Can I? No. <coughs> no damage? Okay, there we go. <coughs> there we go. The aliens are still stupid and brainless, but they are still functioning identically as they did before, which is to say, it seems, the Feeding Lord Fuse has done nothing at all. Perhaps Planet Fusion doesn't have a singular leader. Could it have been some sort of massive hive mind all along? I cringe at the thought. Ah. That's- Oh, there's only more fusions, huh? Bubbles, Didi, and number three. Okay, so I actually thought it, we only had to go battle these three, and then that's it. So that's really cool. I like that. You, there's, you gotta do, you gotta combat more of them. So, this cannot be. Planet Fusion is a massive hive mind. All monsters acting under one intelligence. <coughs> all orders sent from the same. It's all so hard to wrap my head around, truly. But if it's all a hive mind, what did you find? That's a great question. Oh, so it's possible to do it solo? Okay. Yeah, it does seem it's possible to do it solo. I, like, I would get, like, a uh, stun area if you're doing this solo. Uh, probably a revive, but no, that's not needed. Uh, unless, like, if you die and then their health regenerates, that does become a problem. All oh, these Thalsa Titans are here, huh? Okay. Is it me or are they bigger than usual? Yeah, they are bigger than usual, huh? Okay, more fusion spawns. They drop you 12 taros each. <coughs> so the revelation is that they're a hive mind. Okay. So you got Bubbles, number three, and Dee Dee. I'm kind of not sure if I should open this. Because like if I open this, it's going to get stuck. And I don't really care if I get an ultra rare because... I already have everything and I'm already rich, so um, I don't really care. Uh, let's see. So I'm guessing they're gonna turn invisible again, and they're obviously the eruption attacks are going to be invisible as well. So you gotta get 
remember not to leave just yet okay i just say this one oh yeah and they're and her model is different too yo yo okay all right all right guys yeah this is probably harder oh even more fusions huh that does appear to line up with the data I've been collecting. The lore fuse you battled was simply a physical manifestation of a fraction of the planet's total power. So Lord Fuse is the planet and defeating all good brain did basically nothing so much for take me to your leader because so everything is your leader. Okay. So I remember a long time ago Devin was talking about that there on the forums that there's just a hive mind. So now officially in fusion fall retro lore now they are a hive mind and i'm really glad that they're actually reusing these models yo i didn't get to see it the entire time okay a fusion spawn that's kind of disappointing um let's go and i can't open these because if i open them uh, i might risk getting stuck on my inventory screen So this is not a mission you could uh, store. <coughs> okay. So there's some slightly new monsters, so they're bigger. A towering doom strider. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. That does make sense. So they they're, they're quite bulky as well. So they're more powerful than the ones from uh, Fuse's throne. Okay. Uh, it's only going by faster because I'm in a group of four. Um, right. They're definitely bulky. So it's definitely recommended. Um, if you die, you might... I might re recommend you bring in like a, a revive nano. Obviously bring in your health and bring in um, your leech nano. Oh, well, I got some gumballs. I could definitely use that. Yeah, uh, real Chino. Um, the servers are being trashed right now, unfortunately. You don't need a revive? Like, I think three, four times now, I've already, like, crashed or froze or, like, my inventory was stuck. So the servers are kind of wonky right now. Oh, you respawn where you die, really? <coughs> so if I were to die here... Or let's just say like I warp away. No, like what if you die? So you don't need a revive, huh? Let's go see if this if this is real. All right. Okay. So. Oh yeah, yeah. You definitely do. Um. Oh, that's really cool. Fusion hex, fusion Gwen, and fusion. I actually like. How these three are actually correlated with each other because I know these three they're all like with a profit mission uh, with the potem with the totem mission as well okay I love how they're level 36 as well so there's nine f oh <laughs> there's nine fusions you have to go battle it's possible to do this by yourself but it's recommended to go with the group just to make the experience you know much more fun all right, so maybe so, but <coughs> we cannot give up. We now have a greater understanding of Fuse, and this will lead us to his defeat and our victory. There he is, the new ringleader, the head honcho, the big boss, El Gran Gordo, the big cheese, the man upstairs. Big brother, little brother, small, what? Small mother, oh, bother. Oh, bother? You mean, oh, brother? Get him. That's Bog. No attacking. Um. Papa? Hey. Where is Runty? Where are you, bro? Oh, it does any fusion spawn. Ah! And make sure to choose Drain Point. That's the most useful one here. 
<laughs> what if you were to uh sweet another new nano check your email when you could get when you get the chance there could be important information in close oh oh that's it it appears there is much we still have to learn about planet fuse and i believe this war has only just begun and i love this transition because you actually because like you you would think that Lord Fuse is the big bad head honcho, right? He's like the Thanos running everything behind the scenes, but actually he's just a very small portion of the entire planet. So let's just say you only defeated like one tenth, one one hundredth, or one one millionth of the strength of, of Planet Fuse, which was, you know, Lord Fuse himself. But what you really have to do is to literally destroy the planet. And it makes you kind of wonder during the expansion or like, for example, during Legacy, um, who, drew those who drew those characters on the posters? Please tell me the artist. I love the art style. I think the answer to that would have to be Vert. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but the art style does look like it's, it's because of Vert. Um, yeah, so so this is this nice transition. So technically, in a way, like this is the end of like Act One. Act One is like levels, uh, zero to thirty six, and then Act Two is like, what are you gonna do to? Actually, no. Act One is the future. It's very short, right? The tutorial all the way from you going back to the time machine. That's Act One. And then Act 2 is basically everything that you got to do from level 4 to 36. Or you can break the act, you can break Act 2 in, into like 30, into like 32 sub-acts. And then so like Act 3 was like the expansion like or like, you know, whatever legacy is going to go bring us. So that's really cool. Uh, Vert did some of them, Bam, Bam Beptin. Um Yeah, Bam Beptin is the one. Who's uh, responsible for that? Whew. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. You actually uh, get sent here. All right, nice. Doesn't talk. Okay, raises its its mouth. How can it bow down? <coughs> it doesn't have a thanks. Hey, love that. I love that sound. Nice. Yay. Okay. Scared. Doesn't do much. So this one definitely lacks a lot of animations. I think it's the most dis disappointing one. Okay. I love that. <laughs> <coughs> Do that again, I like that. Um, taunt. Yeah. And cheer. Okay. Clap. Flex. Doesn't do anything. What about dancing? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. It's just stuck like that in a in a loop. In fact, you could probably that's pretty cool. But my favorite ones would definitely have to be um the the taunt. I <laughs> love that. 